Is a 650 watt power supply enough to power something like a 3090, 80, 70, even an AMD GPU? Today, we're going to talk about this. This is the Be Quiet Pure Power 11 FM. Kind of sounds like a rock or metal uh, radio station, but trust me, it's a pretty good power supply. And we're going to talk about if it's enough for some of these high end GPUs. <music> Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. Every time you subscribe or smash that like button, some say you turned it up to 11 if you're listening to some metal music, or in this case, this is the Pure Power 11 FM. Be Quiet sent me this over to do some testing and to take a look. Now, power supplies have been more important than ever simply because the new generation of GPUs like the 3090, 80, even the 3070 or the AMD 6800, 6900 XT, they have been very demanding in terms of the power draw that they produce on your system. So it's important not only to get something with the proper rating, but it's also important to get something well built with a quiet fan that's going to regulate the voltage well, that's going to pretty much ensure the reliability of your components. So. Let's talk about a few GPUs and if 650 watts will be enough. Let's talk about mainly the newer crop of GPUs that have been released. Stuff like the 3060, 3070. These GPUs are going to be absolutely perfect for something like a 650 watt power supply. If you pair it with a reasonable CPU, even up to like a 5900X or a 10900K, you should have no problem with the TDP of these GPUs running a power supply like this. And likewise, at times, some of the AMD GPUs use do run fairly efficiently like the 6800 something like that will also work very well on a power supply that's 650 watts now as we start to step up to the 3080 6900 xt and of course not to mention the 3090 that's when things get a little bit tricky now technically if you look at the recommendations from nvidia and amd 3070 perfectly fine with a 650 watt power supply but as you step up to a 3080 and a 3090, they do recommend 750 to perhaps 850 watts. Now, you can run a 3080 on a power supply like this, on a 650 watt power supply. Many people have done so even in small ITX builds, but there are a few things that you really do have to know. First, the quality of your power supply is going to be eminently important. It's not only about sort of the, the label 650 watts. If you get a cheap power supply, that's going to give you many more problems. For example, a power supply like this, like the Pure Power 11. This is going to be a gold rated power supply. I mean, it's going to be fairly efficient. The only things above it, you have to go something like titanium or, you know, go to the more expensive power supplies. But for this level, it's perfectly fine and very high performing. It's going to be able to regulate the voltage and just in general, give your GPU pretty much the cleanest power that it can. A lot of cheap power supplies definitely don't do that. And something that some people actually overlook is going to be the noise of the power supply. I've built some systems in the past even with some higher end power supplies and the noise coming from these uh, you know PSU specifically is going to be the loudest thing in the system in a lot of cases especially if you're doing water cooling so be quiet has a pretty much legendary set of fans that I've used before with you know water cooling systems and you, they're highly recommended you can even check online and of course they put these fans on the power supply as well it's a larger fan so it's going to spin not only a slower but also quieter while still giving you very good performance actually very important when you're running a 650 watt power supply is these tends to be a little bit smaller than something that can be wider like a thousand watt plus meaning that they're going to tend to run noisier so having a well-built and engineered power supply starting at the fan level is actually very important not only to the longevity of your components but also to the quality of life that you're experiencing like when you're playing the game and you're right next to the computer if you have a blaring and loud power supply and some of them can get pretty loud it's going to pretty much throw you off the entire you know mood it's going to be very loud if even if you're working now something like this is going to be significantly quiet and most likely you're never even going to hear it and that's especially true if you're going to be running some more powerful components if you do want to try a 3080 or something like that it's going to tax the system more meaning that the fan certainly is going to be more active than if you're running something a little bit less so let's keep going with the gpus i would say like i said 3070 and 
below 3060, 6800, you're going to be more than fine with a 650 watt power supply, as long as you're not trying to pair it with like a Threadripper or something like that. As we get to the 3080, a couple of things, the 3080, like the 3090, will vary a lot in sort of the TDP and the power draw that it has, depending on the model. For example, EVGA has the 4 to 1 3, and some of those, there's a, you know, a BIOS that can get you well over 400 watts on the power supply. The 3090 goes all the way up to 500 watts. So of course, highly recommend not to use something like that on a power supply like this, even a high quality one. That's not really going to be able to effectively handle that type of, you know, 500 watt power plus the CPU. Even if technically you can run it for a little bit, definitely wouldn't do that. Now, the 3080 can also get up really high. Some of these overclocked models, even if the TDP should be, you know, more in the mid 300s range, some of them can go 400 or more. So keep that in mind. If you want to do one of these very special overclocked 3080s, especially if you're water cooling, I would definitely recommend not only a 750 watt power supply and above, but most likely above a thousand watt power supply because the 3000 series GPUs can have power spikes that are definitely a lot different than just sort of the regular 350 watts or whatever they may be rated at. They, because of the power, even if they're water cooled and they can pull more power, they will have power spikes that are very demanding on a PSU that's not going to be sort of properly equipped to handle that type of power so keep that in mind now if you're going to do a regular more stock 3080 something even like the founders edition which is going to be sort of at its set tdp you're not really going to uh, you know overclock it or anything like that which is more than fine something like that i actually think it's perfectly fine and i've run it before on 650 watt power supplies now ideally of course get 750 or above be quiet and even other companies do make various other high quality models that you know go well above 750 watts but if you happen to want to use a 650 watt power supply i think as long as it's a pretty high quality one something like this that's going to regulate your voltage has a pretty quiet fan i think with a 3080 that's not overclocked you should be fine you know i've checked it before with power meters and it's well of course under that limit you want as much overhead as you can possibly get but with a regular 3080 i would say it's fine even the 6800 6800 xt it starts to push it a little bit but if you get one that's maybe the reference model you would be i think pretty much fine now as we get to the 3090 things are a little bit dicey nvidia's recommendation of course is a 750 watt power supply and not only does the rating matter but once again you want something at least gold preferably even you can get you know titanium or, or platinum or something like that and of course has to be a well-made and built power supply the number on it does not signify everything there are a lot of differences with sort of extended power draw and sort of what peak numbers are so with the 3090 and the 6900 XT to an extent, the same thing is going to hold true as with the 3080. Some of the overclocked models like the EVGA for the 13 once again, that's going to be hitting 500 watts. Of course, don't try that even with the 3080 or 3090. That's going to be just way too much power. You really need a thousand watts or above most likely for something like that. Now, if you're doing a Founders Edition 3090. I mean, I've tested even two 3090s before on an 850 watt power supply. I did a video a few months ago, and technically, of course, it can work. I wouldn't run a 3090 long term on a power supply like this, just because even sort of the Founders Edition, you know, if it's 350 uh, watts that it's pulling, and even if you pair it with a modest CPU, maybe a 5800 or 5900X, you're getting pretty close. I mean, if you have some spikes, technically, it can do it, but the 3090, I definitely would steer you to upgrading at least to 750. I think NVIDIA's recommendation sort of holds true in, in that regard. You can get away with the 650 watt well-made power supply like this, don't get me wrong. I just perhaps wouldn't really run it long term or for like extended benchmarks, but if you just do maybe occasional gaming and you're not really stressing the system too much, it will work and you're probably not going to have any issues or anything like that. But to be safe, as we get to the 3090, especially anything other than like a Founders Edition or stock TDP, definitely look to up the game a little bit in terms of the power supply. Same holds true for the 6900 XT. Now, other benefits of a power supply like this, Pure Power 11FM, I kind of like saying that name, 
it's going to be modular. As you can see, no cables attached, meaning if you only need, you know, a, one hard drive, you attach whatever you need. Um, if in the future you upgrade the GPU that may need a little more power, you can add the cables without having them in the system right away. That's going to give you a much cleaner look, much more efficient, and you can even get custom cables. If you're building a system with something like this and a nice GPU, it's something to think about. The cables that come with this, of course, are adequate. They look fine, but sometimes you may want to do like a different colored cable or something like that. So that's definitely something to keep in mind and the upgrade ability 650 watts for the new generation of gpus if you have something that's like an older generation let's say like a 2060 or a 2070 that easily upgradable to like a 3070 um, level gpu and even i would say temporarily if you get a 3080 or even a 3090 you can temporarily run it off something like this if it's not overclocked like i mentioned but at that point i would definitely recommend 750 or above for those more powerful gpus but 600 Having said that, 650 watts certainly encompasses a lot of very competent, potent GPUs that we have now. Look at something like the 3070. Will be perfect with a power supply like this. Performance equal or more than a 2080 Ti, which is pretty much the best GPU of last generation. I myself have a 1500 watt power supply to be quiet titanium power supply. I've run two 3090s off of that with a Threadripper, so it's absolutely amazing. That's sort of the range that you can find yourself in depending on the hardware 650 to you know 1500 watts that i wouldn't even say it's overkill because 23090s especially overclocked like 500 watts each with a thread whipper you can actually get surprisingly close to 1500 watts so not overkill by any means but with the more regular and even still powerful gpus like the 3070 650 watts is going to be definitely more than sufficient for your gaming needs all right guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe smash that like button thank you to be quiet for sending me this power supply to check out really liked it well made i love the modularity of it and the fan is a huge plus i can't repeat that enough having a nice quiet system is really important and i fired this thing up before and it's super quiet it definitely even under load with a you know a 3070 you're really not going to hear it very much so definitely very good to see all right so take care and i'll see you guys on the next video